the last video lecture we saw how to use if name equal to equal to main statement for uh, introducing the modularity of the business business logic uh, in this video lecture we are going to see the else clause in this for uh, if uh, name equal to equal to main uh, uh, statement okay so let's uh, add an else clause in this so before that let's see uh, how the code executes okay this is how the uh, uh, output of the code looks like so now let's introduce an else clause in this else so let's uh, indent it properly and so here we can have a print statement saying the module probe 01 is being run directly the module probe 01 is being run directly and in the else clause we can mention that the module probe 01 has been imported into another module okay so let's say print here goes the message the module probe 01 is imported to the current module okay so now if you run the program the output is gonna look like this okay so uh, it is running the part before else clause because the module is directly run okay from uh, from the IDE or from the command line whatever may be the case but if the module is directly invoked or executed uh, the part before else is gonna execute and if we want to see uh, what happens when we import the module then we need to run PROG02 because we have already imported this module into PROG02 module so let's open PROG02 okay so let's say run okay so see the error, the um, the message here is the module PROG01 is important to the current module so now you can see clearly see the difference between the two runs okay so whenever we run the module directly the part before uh, the else clause comes into the action and when we run the module uh, indirectly or by importing it then the part after the uh, after the uh, else uh, statement comes into the action uh, this is how we can use the else clause in uh, if a name equal to equal to main condition